Hey, look, it's a paranormal album. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Wait, I've been recording for 20 minutes already. What the fuck? Let me just get a picture of the cover. Hello everyone, my name is Bradley. I have a Brad Taste in Music, and today I'm going to be listening to the Paranormal album After the Magic. This is a release that came out this year, and I will say, starting off, this is not my first listen to this project. I listened to it uh, while I was laying in bed, probably watching Hearthstone content, and I did give it a rating. Uh, so I'll just tell you right now, I gave it a 7, but I never really actually gave it a deep dive. So I'm going to be giving it a more focused listen now. Uh, yeah, and uh, hopefully I'm going to get a more enriching experience. As the first time I listened to this, I actually enjoyed it. I tell you, I enjoyed it more than the previous project, as I thought the previous project had a lot of moments that were unlistenable. And returning to the project, I actually wasn't as crazy about it as I thought I would be uh, returning to it. I thought it would be a grower, but I actually wasn't all that interested in it overall. But I actually liked how this seemed to be less abrasive and just more uh, diverse, I guess. Um, so with that being said, I'm excited to hear... Uh, Excited to hear this, so. Yeah. Returns is leaving because they hate this musician. Spotify, you good? Hello? Why is it not working? Oh, whatever. My buttons are busted. Hold on. Uh, stream to Spotify. Deactivate. Good work. Man, this shit broken. Whatever. Anyways, after the magic. So yeah, this is the Paramol. Uh, Paramol. I almost said Paramore. Paranormal album, ten songs, uh, an hour long. And I guess we should just jump into it. As you can see above me, there's a super monkey ball gameplay going on. Uh, so if you ever get bored of the music and you need something to stare at, because you of course are an iPad baby, there it is up there. Uh, courtesy of, I guess I should say whose gameplay it is, Super Monkey Charon. All right, here we go. Pol uh, Polaris. Polaris? Live album anytime soon? Not on my own. DJ Khaled! Okay. Cheesy ass drum machine. Plus 100 brightness in a photo app is the album cover for this.
really good. Again, I feel like Paranol is exchanging the hard, unlistenable abrasion that was the last project for something that is so much more palatable, something that is so much more overall satisfactory, and I think that this is just pure bliss. I think it's incredible. Um, I also think that it pulls it off without sounding like a gimmick, um, mostly because it's just such an impressive display of sound play, uh, turning into all of a sudden like a shoegaze song from something that had no association with such a thing. Uh, strong smiley ball. It's a nine for me. I think that, wait, yeah, yeah, wait a second. The thing's broken. Wait. Why is it not working? None of my buttons are working. Well, it's a smiley ball. Okay, you get what I, you get what I'm saying. Hold on, let me try something. Yeah, it's broken. Alright, here. Well, we have to do it the old fashioned way. Smiley ball. Look at that. All right. <laughs> I haven't had to use this physical smiley ball in forever. Oh, answer the phone? Uh-oh. What's up? Okay, I'll do one double burger because we're going to eat garbage after, so. Alright, I'll do that. Alright, love you, babe. Oh, I wasn't muted. Ah! <laughs> That's right, I wasn't. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, because the buttons don't work. <laughs> I forgot. My bad. Yeah, the buttons don't work. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Burger. I like the double burger exposed. Shut up. Anyways, yeah, I thought that was actually an absolutely amazing start. I am shocked at how good that is. And again, I have listened to this, but I don't fucking remember anything from it. I'm going to be honest with you. So hearing this again, I'm like, yeah, this is a showstopper of an intro. Uh, really beautiful. And I feel like After the Magic is very appropriate title as for how magical and uh, ethereal that felt. Next song, Insomnia. Devils in my way. But to be honest with you, I see nobody. I am the best. I think Paranormal is one guy. 
So, soundboard still works though. Apparently. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. Shit, not bad. It was a, a freak, a, 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 a drum frequency. Yeah, drink water. And the frequencies are unbelievable. I mean, this is this is really well arranged. what Alf City thinks it sounds like. I was never taught what... Insomnia is where the last song I feel like was more of a build-up experience. This one is just pure euphoria from start to end. I feel like it's also a very nice follow-up to the previous tracks. It's just like, this is what we can do, right? We already kind of showed off a little bit. Now let's just take you on a nice little blissful journey. I thought it was incredible. I, I love that. I'm glad I'm focusing on this album because I feel like within it being in the background, it's easy to just sort of like... Not realize how, I mean, it's good background music. It really is, but like, also really good forefront music. Smiley Ball. Oh, yeah, that's right. Doesn't work. Smiley Ball. All right. Next song, Arrival. Shit's good. Okay. 
This shit is good. Okay. Where's DJ Khaled? Good question. Oh, there he is. DJ Khaled going down to the big door, people. Seven Sporty, they gave the beat, no McKinney. AK, who wanna pop off the egg? Get pop off. Bobby Willis, DJ, and that's me. AKA, shit on niggas.com. AKA. In a rook? No, I haven't heard anything. Surprisingly good. Very smooth. Only halfway through. Where's it go from here? Felt like a full song.
Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I'm I'm killing it at Monkey Ball right now. I know I'm doing so good. Damn, every one of these songs made you cry. Did I feel bad for not crying? Yeah, we should just cover all the corners with stimulation. I think Arrival is great, and I think there is a moment in there where it truly just ascends and become just, becomes just a beautiful, overpowering moment. But I also feel like the moments around it maybe just don't complement it as well as it could. Uh, what this says to me is that this is good. This is really good, and it has some fantastic moments, but I feel like... Um, I'm going to be honest. I don't think Paranormal has hit their peak yet. I think they could do even better. I think that this is great, but I feel like they've shown that, like, there is still gas in the tank to make something even more uh, above and beyond. So, for me, I, I think it's great, but I don't think it's a 10. It's a smiley ball, though. I think there's an even more, like, well-flushed-out and full-thought-out experience here. So I feel like the first half doesn't really, I feel like, perfectly complement the second or the middle segment. I don't feel like the last segment here really fully complements the super transcendental moment, so... Honestly, yeah. I mean, I really like it, but uh, I could see I could see even, an even better product in the future. Nintendo put this as the worst track on the album. Damn, that's harsh. Has daily streaming treating you? Of course, I've been feeling burnt out, but I've had to push through it, and as a result, I feel like I've gotten stronger as a streamer. I actually feel like this has been a great move beyond just like financially i feel like i'm forcing myself to put myself in an uncomfortable position like this is helping me get over my fear of things like the queue emptying out you know as i always was like oh it's so terrified of it but uh i don't know man it's like i have to sort of face these things now i feel like it's um i feel like it's just been overall a very positive experience so yeah we shine at night Yeah, I didn't see what Fantano had to say about gang, gang, gang. Maybe he said it was like a shallow observation or something. I don't know.
you're gonna have this track actually works in context with everything else on the album. Yeah, I feel like I'll be listening to a lot more Japanese music because I'm gonna be doing it. Uh, I don't know, there's like a certain style that I feel like a lot of Asian music follows, and there, there's something like really beautiful to uncover through it. show up, then I guess it's considered a day, but I've been trying to do like multiple hours a day. You can't hear me while the music's playing? Alright. It's my bad. Stream spit by Poppy. I didn't say it was my favorite song this year. I said it could be my favorite song this year. Possibly. I'm 23 as well. I don't think you need to continue. I mean, it's after the magic. You know, I feel the magic in this song. As long as I feel the magic, I'm okay with it being six minutes long. You know what I mean? Maybe it not, might not be the most, like, insanely mind-capturing song ever, but I, I, I still feel like it's, you know, it's got charm and magic, so I'm okay with it. you zone out and make you think about how you've been living life. I've been living life poorly because I didn't put enough money on black or enough on zero. There's so many Roblox. You're actually on the album? Damn, that shit is kind of crazy. I think Walter's on this song. He has a screaming feature. Oh, there it was, right there.
I thought that song was very pretty, but I also don't think that it was the most well-constructed song of this album. I thought that even Arrival was more focused with not every segment like adding to the overall bombast and incredible moment. Um, I thought that the incredible moment made up for the fact that there was still somewhat of a lack of structure. What I'm trying to say is, not my favorite. has some good ideas, but um, another song where I feel like could be done better. Light Smiley Bull. Next song, Parade. Hmm. Very pretty. Very pretty. Gay Brad go? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. That bass kick was footsteps. I like that there's a theme to the sound of everything on this album so far. Oh, another one that sounds like it's over, but it's only halfway. Dropping the smiley ball constantly, just trying to keep tempo. But like,
transcendental. For some reason, I'm not transcendental. Wish I was. I mean, it's good, I like it, but I'm not taking the food. Like, I think it's really well made, but for some reason, it's just not taking me to that other world, you know? Feels like Arrival. It feels like a better version of Arrival because it, it's Arrival. Now that's the thing, though, is I feel like once again, it's really good, but I feel like it could be even better. Like, I feel like while both halves of this song have a lot of magic and they both bring something to the table, I don't actually feel like the two complement each other in any sort of interesting way, uh, at least sonically speaking. I can't really speak in terms of the subject matter, but I feel like this song, well, it does, I feel like it does come together in the end, but I don't feel like it blends in a supernatural and easy way. This is basically in a, in a way that I feel like just kind of blends. Actually, I said it everything I was supposed to say supposed to say that i wanted to say about this shit basically i think it's good but a lot of people saying this is their favorite to the album i think it just sort of blends in with a lot of the other uh s ideas that i think are kind of similar to this um i feel like if you're absolutely loving the hell out of this sound then you're going to be very happy to hear that this song is similar in style so smiley bull but I know it's your job being critical and just agree that this is a banger. Nah. I'm not saying this because it's my job to be critical. It's more like my job to tell you exactly how I feel, even if it's not the thing you want to hear, unfortunately. And the way I feel about that song is good, but could be even better. Which has been what I've kind of said about a lot of stuff here. Uh, maybe the live album kind of brings stuff together more because I see everybody saying it's like the greatest thing ever made. Um, but yeah. Next song, Sketchbook. Yeah, the iPad kids, exactly. I am very intimidated that everyone thinks this is their album of the year. This so far wouldn't even be top 10 for me. Oh, 
Okay. Hey, shake that ass, girl. Make that coochie. Shake that ass, girl. monkey ball it's just footage in the corner Sounds like ass. I like the structure in this track though. It's unique. Takes a risk. I might actually listen to this album again when I'm done streaming. Get like one more final life. You know what I mean? Because I really like this album's structure so far. Like, I think the song arrangement is really well thought out. You know who else was never taught what laws there are? Hey, man! Wow, that was a terrible muscle man impression. Huh. the nice current album of the year right now but we'll just have to see what else is in store for the rest of the year would you give this a, I, I think you said you'd give this a 9 though right or was it a 10 I don't know I definitely think this is a very interesting listen. People are saying Porter Robinson. I think that both this album and the Porter Robinson one go for a similar style of like enchanting sound, but in a completely different execution. I do really like the large scale scope of this project a lot. But I think this is my least favorite song so far. Well, it's not over yet, I guess. I, I like this part. Hey, now at T-Mobile, you can order two phones for the price of one. Now at T-Mobile, they are like a motherfucking business from over.
actually return to this with reading the lyrics, but I really just want to get an idea of the sound. I think the sound is extremely effective. It's one of those I think, again, I feel like some of these songs are just very inconsistent. Like, I think the ending of this song is wonderful, and I think it matches the, like, the song's called Sketchbook. It feels just like a very beautiful, imaginative world that it's sort of building through this song, though I think the beginning maybe is a little too goofy with that sound, with honestly some terrible fucking singing. Light Smiley Ball. Oh shit, food's here. Yeah. <gasps> I don't wanna buy it. Oh man. Oh my it god. Looks so Vegans beware. Oh, that looks good as fuck. <laughs> Next song, Imagination. Oh, I thought this was a Spotify ad playing at first. No, this is a song. Yo, Tina! Tina! What? They didn't put enough ketchup on the burger. I need your help. <laughs> you should have seen her response when she heard me. She was like, "Ugh, so angry at me." I separated the pack. It was a team. Who's Jack? Oh yeah. Who's Jack? Like Jack met, like from AJR. AJR. Yeah. Hmm. There we go. Say hi. Break the break the illusion. They can't know I'm a clone. No, they can't. They can't. They can't break the illusion. No, no, come in, come in. I can't break the illusion. No, don't. I can't. I can't. He respects you too much, you. Come on. No, don't do it. Come on. Imagination. You know, Tina, you um, giving me a massage actually makes me like the music more. Yeah, I, I, I agree. It's, um, I mean, that's the thing. is like, the heavily distorting stuff can really ruin the natural feeling of it. But it does use it to try to make it more comfy. There's ups and downs. Oh, 
I feel Naru. This feels like a more explorative album of sound, you know? Yeah, glue. Nah, I think he might be more of a fan than me. But I did hear the original recordings of that. Shit, that actually matched perfectly. Zen kind of sounds like when you break someone's shield and smash. I think Imagination is, again, a very simple song in terms of the sound, but it adds to the overall experience, and I like it. Every song so far has been a smiley ball. I feel like, though, the last handful of tracks really haven't stood out as much, though. I, I feel like they've helped add to the aesthetic, but haven't really helped transcend the aesthetic. So, of course, that might sound a little pretentious, and maybe it is. I have to go wash my hands. I'll be right back. Keep watching Monkey Ball. Sound inside me, waves inside you. Next song.
actually. I like it. Great vibe. In life, there's people that hustle. In life, there's people that grind. And there's we the best music who make history. History is something that cannot be forgotten. I've been through every roadblock. I have seen and overcome the evilest hate ever that mankind has ever witnessed. I have been challenged and I always win. I have been through wars and come out with no scars. Victory is accomplishment. Victory is a survival. When you're on your way to the top, they cheer for you. When you reach the top of the mountain, they want you to die. I speak through my music. Victoria was made up by a dude. Guys, can we not make fun of the incredible hit song, Victoria's Secret? You know Jax is going to win an iHeart Radio Award for it, all right? An iHeart Radio Award, so you guys should stop laughing at her. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, actually. It's Jax or Dax works. Both suck. Both are very deplorable. But at least Jax means well. Do I ever keep live streams? Depends. Some get blocked. Jack stacks Nav Nas in order for best or worst. Nas number one. Nav number two. Jack number three. Dax number four. Yeah, I'd rather listen to Nav than Jax. Any day of the week. The Uncut channel has my Jar of Flies reaction before I do. That's funny. I like that one, but it didn't stand out. Much like many of the other tracks here, I feel like it's a beautiful song. It really hits, and then it's gone, and I kind of forgot about it. Um, S the aesthetic overall, smiley ball. Victory is a survival. Victory is accomplishment. Oh, I fucked up now. Blossom. Little. Feels like a pretty good uh, near conclusion track. Feels very fitting to be at the end. Again, I think the structuring of this album is spectacular.
you know, even though I don't think that any of these songs really reached the magic that the first couple did, I mean, there are some of my favorite albums that I can say not every moment is consistent, but the overall experience is fantastic, and I feel like this album has a very good overall experience. the meat bells indeed my opponent is a liar cannot be trusted yeah i feel like the sound is really well fun i don't think there's any bad songs on here so far maybe just to keep the sound palette i guess we need to know It definitely added to the song, trust me. The emotional impact of this song, the overwhelm, the build-up, I feel like was only enhanced by Hobson going, say that I love you, on beat. And then uh, Tyler Joseph adding an emotional touch to it as well. So, my ball. I actually liked that a lot. I thought that that was a slight improvement from the other ones, uh, going back to a very emotional, overpowering tone. So, yeah, I liked it. 
Final song after the magic. Apparently people didn't like Blossom. I liked it. Had some gusto. The police. Gang, gang. Motherfucker. Ah. I'm in the gang. You stealing the slugs bar? That's fine. Everything I do is open source. Now we have two more requests after this, then the stream will be over. Monkey Ball 2's got a fucking baller ass soundtrack, you know? Shit, gangsta. I think we all can agree. Oh my god, what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Yeah, I think this is a wonderful closer. It really adds to the magic. It feels very final. I gotta add up the score.
beautiful ending feels again really conclusive like like there isn't really much else to add or say afterwards so i think that this album peaked at the very first track i think that's where it showed the most power and potential um and then just sort of kept going on and what kind of feels like a well ambitious not as explosive or i guess amazing as the first track feels like it kind of set the bar very high and then just sort of cruised along which again is okay especially since i think the album experience was just very solid overall in my opinion this album is an eight minus really good that's i actually would give this three points more than i originally gave it which it's not showing right now but yes i would raise the score by three points so it's an 81 out of 100 instead of a 78 um but yeah i sort of still have the same issues here while i don't think there's any bad songs here i think that there's only a few songs that i think are uh that go so above and beyond in terms of the sound that i feel like it really uh blows my mind away i guess you would say shake my head brad copying fantano with that score it's not it wouldn't be the first time okay you know we always been been copying fantano so that's the brad taste way fuck it how is this level? Looking at it. Anyways. I'm glad you like the fit. All right, let's get to the last two songs of the day, and then we're going to head out. Wait, what the fuck? Where the thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's because the background's up. Oh, I shut off the media share. Fuck. Fuck. 